Hey everybody, we have made it to the smuggler's hideout, and we've got several puzzles to solve here. So let's see what the first puzzle is. The first puzzle is getting to the lighthouse. Getting the lighthouse to work. Good evening. Hey, what do you want? Well, um, I want to be a lighthouse keeper. Yeah, I thought that way when I was a kid like you. I just want to be quiet, close to nature. Then I got married. I'm in a lighthouse with a wife and 15 screaming daughters. Oh, it's awful. Can you send a message from the lighthouse? It's impossible. The light's broken. New light should have arrived by now. That's what I thought five years ago when I ordered it. Uh, nice lighthouse. Look, hey, if you've been here for six years, it wouldn't seem so nice. So, this guy totally needs a new light bulb, or something he can use for a light bulb. Because the lighthouse is where the villains are going to send that secret message. That secret message, yes. So I believe we need to go to the cemetery. Ooh, that's a nice looking owl. Yeah, and what we want to do is take a look at this vase, which would be perfect for a lighthouse thing, because it's transparent. I don't believe this man will let us take it. My name's Boris, but you can call me Bo, and the business of grave digging's what I know. I want to visit a grave. Ah, out of my face, who's the dead cat you want to see in this place? Uh, Minkstall. Who's that? Don't know his name. If he were around, he'd be cold as my name. Ah. Who are you listening to? Brother, what's that I hear? A man is TPL, and they're as cool as a beer. I love the rapping rapping guy who's in charge of the cemetery. That's crazy. So I think what we do at this point is we just take the CD for TPL and give it to the grave digger. Maybe you want this CD. Hand it over. It's the latest of TPL. They're the greatest. Thanks, dude. Take the vase. It ain't no problem of mine. After all, that old vase ain't worth a dime. So now we can take the vase. Yeah, I, I'm solving these puzzles pretty quickly, but it's a, it's a little bit more complicated when, you know, you're trying to solve them on your own for the first time. So I'll need to go to the secret pasture, I need to go to the forest. So I believe I'm going to take this flower. Ooh, there's all sorts of animals in the forest, it's scary. It has a very strong smell. I think they're sending us a message. Look through binoculars. I'm the one that gives orders here. I'll look through the binoculars. The sign we're waiting for, boss. I'll decide what the sign is. Yeah, it's the sign. Do I send a password, boss? I'll tell you when you send the password. Eh, send the password now. Listen, pal, it's strange, but they answered. Uh, 
message says the kid's not here anymore. We left him in his grandfather's house, old Jane McCallaghan, a while ago. Thanks for gonna help. No problem, pal. So, we are going back to the cemetery. Get out of my way! I came here to visit a grave. Ah, out of my face! Who's the dead cat you want to see in this place? Old James Lowe Callahan. Ah, yes, the old cat John. Yeah, he's six feet under. That dude is right gone. Come on, take a look around. Oh, this boy's got to fly, because there's a world to be found! So, that gets rid of him. And we know where they're hiding the artwork. The artwork's right here. In James's grave. Oh, he died a long time ago, and I don't think I can look at anything else here on the screen. Nope, I can't. So let's just take the artwork and run. Now I'd better get out of here fast before the weasel shows up. Yep, showing up before the bad guys do. So we intercepted the artwork. That's some crazy looking artwork. adventure game styles. I also kind of like those ones too where it's similar to this where you have a bunch of items but it's it's a lot more of um, what do you call it? Quick puzzles after each other in, in, in succession, if that makes sense. Not so much uh, as many overarching puzzles like this game has. 
it's more like, okay, uh, there's an apple, use a knife on the apple, cut the apple. Great. Give the sliced apple to a squirrel in exchange for some walnuts. Use the walnuts. Use the hammer on the walnuts to break the walnuts. And... popper so you can set off the confetti popper and get the secret message inside. Sort of like that. Really, really uh, quicker puzzles, I think, is the, the better way to describe it. Okay, and now we're going to go south three times and west twice. Said for these old games, uh, where there's a more em more of an emphasis on um, you know exploring and finding the puzzles. But there's also uh, you know something to be said for the games with the shorter puzzles, where it's a lot more obvious. Hey, this is what we're supposed to do in order to beat the game. Because this game didn't really spell out the fact that I need to get a bunch of money in order to uh, get to the biology trip. It, it just sort of, it, it, it has all the puzzles for that, but didn't specifically spell out the fact that, hey, this is the reason why you're stopping the bad guys. This is why you're doing that. It's so you can go on the biology trip. And I imagine somebody who, who was just hung up on the biology trip aspect of the game is like, why am I stopping thieves all of a sudden? What does this have to do with the storyline? What even is going on at this point? Those poor, poor, confused people. Now, I imagine most people are confused by this puzzle, though. I mean, don't, don't get me wrong. This is the confusing one. Obviously, it's very simple once you, you catch the trick with the paper. But if you don't, then... Oh, gosh. Just, I'm wandering around in a maze. 